Johan, welcome to Bath Rugby. I believe this is the first time you've kind of been in the changing room. You've been here a week in the role now. How have you found things so far? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, not the first time at the rec. Uh, I've come to visit Bath a few times in the past and watched a, a game against Leicester in 2016. Um, and in um, you know my visits here, certainly felt that uh, this is rugby city. Club founded in 1865. Uh, phenomenal to walk here into the change rooms, and you can feel history. And uh, you know, there's some big people that have walked here before. Yeah. Does that history give you that excitement for the new season and kind of uh, new energy needed for the, for this group and this club? Yeah, I look very excited to be here. Uh, incredible opportunity. Um, if I go back to the past, you know, uh, very privileged to be part of the Bulls for, for nine years, uh, a club, uh, a province in South Africa that uh, you know, really embodies the values of rugby. The same with Munster, the club that I've just been at, phenomenal five years at Munster. And you know, generally when you walk out of Thurman Park and at Musgrave Park, it's about history. And you know, I can say the same about Bath. Uh, it's what rugby is about. Um, now one of the, the first clubs uh, in England to, to win in Europe, uh, rich tradition in Europe, uh, rich tradition in, in the English game and uh, you know that's, uh, that's what you want to be part of. You want to be part of uh, clubs with values and with history and we've got an incredible game, this game called rugby and uh, it's phenomenal to be part of it. Yeah, the values that you have and kind of that traditional side of, of rugby, is that what you, you value most? Kind of in this role as head of rugby? I think uh, rugby is about people. Uh, like I said, we've got a phenomenal game and rugby is about the people, you know, the players. And that's the most important. You know, coaches support staff and it's exactly why they support staff to support the players. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's about the club. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's connecting the club to the city and in Bath specifically, this is a city um, that's bleeding rugby. And uh, you know we want to be connected to the city, and uh, you know, that excites me. It's about support, not only at home but also away, and that's one of the beautiful things about our game. Uh, you 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 fight uh, for for every inch on the pitch, but once you are finished with the game and you come back out of those four lines, it's about friendships, it's about respect, it's about having good times together off the pitch, and you know, like I said, that's that's why I'm in rugby. You've, you've talked about being family first uh, quite a bit with the team, I believe, over the, the past week. Um, how have your family settled to life in Bath so far and um, kind of what have you seen of, of the city together? Yeah, look, uh, my family is very important to me. Um, you know, my family in Bath, my family back in South Africa and then and I think uh, because you spend so much time together, it doesn't matter in what rugby environment you are at, uh, they do become family. And uh, you know you you spend quality time together, and uh, you've got to embrace it. Uh, I believe you are on this earth, on this earth to to make a difference. Um, you now, and and from a family point of view, uh, one of the first things we did was um, have a picnic in in Victoria Park and kind of walked around, um, get a sense of the city and get a sense of of the people of the city. Like I said. Um, we visited Bath before in, in the past, uh, had some good friends playing at the club previously, uh, but now it's the first time actually involved in the club. And you know, um, you know South Africa is our, our home country, um, but this is home for now and we're going to embrace it and we're going to become part of Bath. Relationships are clearly important to you and with players and with coaches and you've brought someone with you to Bath in JP Ferreira, who's obviously a close friend and a close colleague too. Talk to me about your coaching team, in particular JP, um, and what characteristics you look for in, in those guys. I think trust is the first, the first uh, word that comes to mind. JP is a phenomenal man, also a family man. Um, no, and uh, he's, uh, he's an exceptional coach. Uh, we, uh, we knew each other when we were way younger um, and then JP started his pathway firstly at the Falcons and, and then at the Lions, uh, which he grew into an exceptional defensive coach. Arrived at Munster and Jacques Nienaber, which is a phenomenal coach, left to, to go and be the defensive coach for South Africa and uh, Andy Farrell uh, helped me for a few weeks and um, 
Spoke to Garrett Fitzgerald, uh, the CEO back then for Munster Rugby, and said we, we needed a defence coach. And you now we recruited JP from the Lions, and uh, he's done incredibly well with, with the defence uh, at Munster. And you know, we're very lucky to have him now at Bath Rugby, and um, also uh, Joe coming uh, back from Japan. Um, you know, uh, I think he's somebody that uh, that made a big impression on me quickly. Um, Unfortunately, we met each other uh, on Zoom and kind of built a relationship. And I think, uh, obviously, he's, he's from Bath before he played here. He was very good as a player. And really looking forward to, to working with him. And you know, Neil Hatley, um, exceptional forwards coach, uh, being with England uh, for a number of years. Um, you know, he's done so well as a, as a scrum coach in, in the getting England to, to a World Cup final and looking forward to work with him and then Charts, Luke Charteris. Um, was watching uh, some of the old Wales test matches versus the Springboks and saw in 2014 in Durban, I was the forwards coach for South Africa and he was starting for Wales and um, you now he's, he's a coach that um, you know, will, will make a big difference uh, in the years to come, specifically around the lineup. And obviously new members of the backroom staff as well, Alex Martin, Sarah Jenner, who you know well from Munster. How important is it for these guys to, to gel quickly, but also how important is it to have their experience too? I think two things come to mind. Journey, uh, we're going to be on a journey. You know, we, we're literally starting from zero. Um, no, and, and what we were looking for is good people, and uh, we've appointed really good people. Uh, some of the names you've mentioned, Alex Martin, Sarah Jenner, Rory Murray, uh, you know, Don McPherson. Um, now there, there's too many to name, but you know, looking, looking for a staff that wants to support the players, support the staff um, that's around them, and, and then support the club. Um, as I've said earlier, it's, it's important that we start building something here that's connected to the city. And um, you know, we are bound here by rugby and we want to become a very good rugby team. And for that to happen, you need clarity and you need exceptionally good people. Yeah, and those good people have created kind of a positive energy in that first week of pre-season. How has that first week gone? And obviously in the temperature that it's been, um, how are the lads looking? Look, most importantly, you've got to start somewhere. Um, so, you know, we, we started last week and it was important to make sure that we get a vision in place. Um, you know, a, a vision is, is pretty important because if you don't know where you're going, you, you're on the road to nowhere. And, um, you know, it, it was important that um, we, we start off on that note. Um, in terms of the players, exceptionally welcoming. Uh, a real hunger to learn and to get better. Um, in terms of the staff, everybody just wants to play their part and, and add to the team. And then in a few weeks' time, we'll be going across to Jersey as a group, uh, waiting for some of the England boys to get back from Australia after their time away. And some of the under-20 lads and you know, some players from other clubs are, are still on their holidays. And in Jersey, in Jersey, we'll be together as a group time and you know, then discuss where do we actually want to take this team and, and take this club. Now, I've, I've got a vision of, of where I believe we can go to, but you need buy-in from everybody. And you know, you've, you've got to make sure that you dream big dreams because uh, you know, a, a coach that I respect a lot taught me that uh, you've got to dream big dreams because big dreams make some man's blood stir. And uh, that's what we're looking for. We want to dream big. Uh, we know that we've got such a long way ahead of ourselves. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do, but we've got, you've got to start somewhere. And we started there last week. More specifically on on the playing group. Um, is everyone in the building bar the internationals that have been away or, or a few still to come in? Still a few more to come in. Um, you know, some, some guys still on their, on their holidays, uh, some players joining us from other clubs have, have finished later than Bath ended their, their season and I think um, important to note I've, I've kind of looked at the, the first year in a, in a short, medium and, and a long-term category. Firstly, we, we've had some injuries uh, over the last few weeks, so looking forward to add some short-term options. Um, really going to take my time to learn about the players. Uh, a lot of this, of what I currently know, is perception, so I want to see what we need, what we need to add. Uh, we might add one or two more players during the season, and. Now, hopefully the, the team really performs um, and then make decisions, you know, where do we go in the future? 
I'd love to retain as many players as, as possible, but you know, as I said to the group, if you look at this uh, as, a, as a journey on a train, uh, you know, after each season you'll make a stop. Some people will get off the train and some people will get on the train. The only thing we can control is the now. And uh, we're looking to improve performance uh, right from the start. And um, as I've said earlier, we've made a start, a long way to go. Uh, but really looking forward to the challenge uh, because it will certainly be a challenge. I'm sure some of those decisions will be made. Uh, should there be injuries to the squad. Is there any update on some of the players returning from the off-season that are still struggling or carrying injury? Yeah, I think it's it's fair to say that I want to take my time in, in assessing all of those injured players. Uh, some are still on their way back. Uh, but at the end of next week, um, you know, we'll, we'll give an injury assessment of where everybody is in um, uh, from a playing group point of view. Uh, we, we have a big injury rate, something that will work very hard to get down. Um, you know, one of the successes, I believe, of, of the way that uh, the Premiership are structured is you want to have your best players on the pitch. And um, we want to make sure that we look after them and uh, we want to make sure that we condition them uh, to uh, the highest level humanly possible. And you know, hopefully that will result in less players getting injured. So I'll have a clearer picture at the back end of next week. You mentioned Jersey earlier on in our conversation, um, one of the pre-season friendlies we have, Coventry being the other. Talk to me about those opposition and what you look for going into, into friendlies and what outcome do you want from them? Look, uh, we win what well, you want to win every game that we play and I think that's the first thing to note. Uh, we're never going to take the field not to go and win the game. From a pre-season point of view, specifically the Coventry game, I'm going to give as many guys as possible opportunities, kind of play two teams 40 minutes each with their own bench uh, because uh, we've got quite a big group. Uh, we've made a change in the way that we look at the game. Uh, everybody's in the same level, so we've got all the senior lads, all the academy, all the players that have just left school all in together. So I want to give most of them an opportunity to play against Coventry. Then take the whole group to Jersey. Um, as I said, have a, a good week there, kind of have a tour feel. Uh, we don't have the opportunity to tour a lot, so get to know each other better. And from a Jersey perspective, narrow this squad down uh, a little bit more because it's, it's one week out from the, the start of the, the Premiership. Still go over the mindset of you know, potentially a 60-20 uh, in terms of minutes. And uh, you know, after that, we will reassess uh, on that weekend and decide which way we, we want to go in the first week of the Premiership. And that first week of the Premiership is the curtain raiser of the 22-23 season against Bristol Bears at Ashton Gate, 27,000 supporters. That must give you a bit of excitement. Yeah, look, um, the, the Premiership is a very long competition. Um, so I don't see it as a sprint, I see it as a, as a marathon. And we've got to make sure that we continually improve week in and, and week out. Um, and what a nice way to start against Bristol one of the, the rivals of, of Bath Rugby. Uh, good challenge for us uh, away from home. A team that play a very specific brand of rugby, team full of stars, uh, well coached team. Uh, so good start for us away from home to see where we were at uh, after this pre-season uh, in game one. And obviously back-to-back -back home games follow that. Sale first and then Wasps on Friday night, your first experience of the rec. Can you imagine what that's like? What have you heard about the wreck, about the fans and how many pack out the wreck each week? Yeah, look, um, as a starting point, um, you know, my perception about BAF fans is that they are incredibly loyal. They love their team. Um, irrespective of performance, they're respectful towards the opposition. Um, and they want their team to do well. So really looking forward. Um, I heard that a week ago the season tickets were already sold out and you, you can't say that about a lot of places in, in world sport even before the, the season starts. Um, so really looking forward to, to be part of that, uh, to be part of history, to be part of a, a club that um, is all about the game of rugby and uh, you need two teams in the game, yourself and the opposition. I believe you treat the opposition with respect and you back your team to the fullest and you know, everything I've heard uh, about Bar fans is that they are incredible supporters. And really looking forward to, to experiencing it uh, for myself here at the Rec. 
Uh, from a playing group point of view, we've got to make sure that we bring the performances and you know, we'll make sure that we work incredibly hard to make that happen. Yeah, and thank you very much for joining us and we wish you all the best. Thank you very much.